So in the last episode, we spent an entirely long amount of time trying to figure out how to stave off our lack of metal. And we have effectively done that, but now we have a whole host of new problems. Starting off with, we have no more cementing paste. It took every ounce of cementing paste I had to be over to come over here to the volcano and build this, uh, this really awesome mining platform that we have built. But because of that, we now lack any and all cementing paste problems, which is, uh, is not good. It's really not good. Plus, plus, oh God, we did manage to figure out how to get a bunch of metal back in return, but we gotta move it all the way back from here, all the way to the west coast to our peninsula somehow, and that is going to take some doing. Uh, we can either do one trip with our only bird, Jenny, or we're going to have to do many trips, many, many trips. So today, I think we're going to have to try and address both of those problems as we, uh, these guys actually could just put this one out. This one is done smelting. Uh, I think we just got to try and stave off some of that stuff, man. We got to try and figure out what we're going to do to try and, uh, figure out some of those problems. So the first one is pretty easy. So I don't know about you guys, but I, uh. Cementing paste is not an item in Ark that I really like spending a lot of time working on. It drives me nuts, in fact. So, whenever I got the opportunity to not make cementing paste, we are going to take it. So today, that's how we're going to start it off. We're going to start off trying to do a little bit, okay? A little bit, because I know beavers on this map aren't entirely... They just don't spawn very often. However, because of the Ark Wiki, which we have right here, we know exactly where they spawn on this map. So, if we use this map, my guess is... Even if beavers don't spawn in all these spots, we might get a beaver dam. And if we can get at least one beaver dam to spawn in each of these six locations, that'll be more than enough cementing paste to at least keep us going for the time being. It's not gonna be our end all be all, but it should be good enough to at least, at least you guys get us going where we wanna go. Then, I've thought about this, okay? I think, I think we're gonna have to do some taming of some arches today. So that is kind of the, uh, I, I guess, the whole premise today we got we got it we're just we solved some problems we made some problems okay now we got to deal with the other problem it's just it's a whole it's just oh it's just oh it's like a big circle so that is what we're going to do today but in last episode i also asked you guys what well, we should name her anky gal anky lady over here she put in the finest of work yesterday harvesting up all the metal on the volcano and then some mind you and then some, oh oh mm -hmm. yeah that was some craziness can i have that egg though that Mm, no don't about that one. Ah, uh, oh, uh, <laughs> mm, that's uh that's that's some art right there, Anki lady. But uh, I asked you guys for a name for her. Now you guys, in your all-knowing infinite wisdom, you guys, there were some really good ones. In fact, there were more good ones than bad ones. I'll say that. So I had a really tough time picking this one out. And honestly, the one I'm going to choose, the one I chose, is fairly simple. It's really not that crazy, but it just it speaks to me. I don't know why it speaks to me. There were some really good Star Wars references in there, and I thank you guys, but for whatever reason, this is, this is, I just, I just seen it, and this is the one that stuck with me. So, we're gonna go ahead and name our new Anki lady. This is the Iron, this is the Iron Maiden right here. She is the literal Iron Maiden. The <laughs> Maiden of the Iron, mm, yeah, get it? I think it's, I, th <laughs> I don't know why, but I think it's a really good one. Anyway, so. Uh, like I said, we're gonna go, I guess, and start from north to south and try and figure out what is going down with the beaver dam scenario. Oh, good, we got some levels. Perfect. Uh, I guess, if we're talking about weight, <sighs> Jenny, you may use some weight. <laughs> so, yeah, so I guess from north to south, which I guess starts, if I'm looking at this correctly, we want to go from the hidden lake, which is in, let's pull up our map so I know exactly where I'm going, which is in a that early direction. We'll start there, we'll work our way back. And by the end of it all, we will be back at base and we can start figuring out exactly what we want to be doing. So, uh, I'll see you guys at the edge of uh, Crystal Lake. Hopefully, we've got some beaver dams. So, BRBs! Alrighty, you guys. So, Hidden Lake should be coming into view fairly soon here. And hopefully, we just want one beaver dam. If each of these locations has at least one... Okay, good. I see at least one. Maybe two. Is there two? Is that a second one right there? That is a second one. Okay, perfect. Uh, okay, well... <laughs> I was hoping for just one, but if we can get two in each location, that's even better. Um, how are we going to go about doing this, though? Because the second, the second I open this young beaver dam right here, the uh, beavers are going to, they're going <laughs> to, all right, they're going to test our metal. I guess there's no better way to do this than open it, grab and go, right? We just got to open it. Okay, a little bit of cementing paste. Don't need the wood. 
drop all of that. All you beaver folk are going to come right after me and Jenny, aren't you? Let's see if we can get slick about this. There's one, two, three. Oh, God. Oh, the beavers, they just keep coming. Okay, let's see if we can... Okay, let me think about this. Uh, let's drag them this way. And we'll make a mad dash and see if we can just get it and go without having to slaughter all the beaver in the area. Are they still following me? They are. Okay. We might be able to do this. The problem is the second they hit the water, they're going to be a lot, a lot faster than us. And I don't like that at all. Even coming here. Come on the other side of this ruins. I only see two of you. Where are the other two beaver that fall? What, you know what? I don't even care. We're going to try it. We're going to try it anyway. So because I like you guys, uh, I think I'm not going to, I'm not going to force you to watch me slay. I, I know I'm a beaver slaying machine. But I'm not going to force you guys to watch me slay all the beaver in all these spots. Instead, uh, we're just, oh, that was really lame. I'm going to just go to all of them and just see, one, if there is a beaver dam there, we're going to just grab it. And I'll just show you guys that, I guess. It's a little bit more fair, right? Because you just, we don't need to, you don't need to see me killing about a thousand beaver today, right? We just, we're beyond that. Hopefully, we're evolved beyond that, boy. Anyway, so that's the, uh, that's the goal, I guess. That actually... We executed that kind of to perfection. How much did we walk away in terms of cementing paste there? I mean, 351 is not a lot. It's not a lot of cementing paste, but it's certainly more than we had, and it was a lot easier to go and get than, than uh, if we were to actually sit there and grind out 351 cementing paste. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking this is a good idea. I'm thinking this is a good idea. <laughs> so yeah, I'll see you guys at the uh, the next dam we find. All right, so we are here at the second dam location. It does appear that there is at least one beaver dam that I can get. There's two, actually, but there are Dinotherium in the area, which makes me a little bit more hesitant. So, <laughs> and there's a T-Rex right there. Oh, God. Okay, this is really bad news. Can we walk in the water right here? Is it shallow enough? Okay. Really? Two beaver dams? Oh, whatever. We're going to just in and out, in and out, baby. Oh, nice, nice. This one was really good. Grab all that. Drop all of this. I hear the T-Rex getting ever closer. Don't like it. Is it after me? Is it fighting the beaver, perhaps? What level is this? We should probably just be checking all in every T-Rex. 50? Okay, no. That's fine. Uh, oh, oh, God, look. The beavers just keep coming out of nowhere. Okay, just come over here and fight the Rex. Come on. Yes, just, yep. And one more. Just fight that one, too. Okay, perfect. Look at that. Perfect distraction plan. Just how I drew it up. Now what we need is these Elephantes to just not be angry at me for the same stuff don't just let me just let me have all the stuff all the things thank you drop all this cool second beaver spot was pretty good actually we are walking we're gonna make out like thieves like thieves as this continues all right third spot okay so the third beaver spot should be coming into view now and i'm seeing the b oh, i see one beaver dam i see one beaver dam in the middle of the water and i see a lot of beaver that's just Okay, whatever. Um, yeah, is that one? That's two. There's two more here. Okay, so there's two beaver dams side by side. Literally in the middle of the water. Oh, my God. We're going to have to probably slay out some beaver for that. Ooh. Oh, it's never easy, is it? Oh, my God. Okay. Uh, or can we just hover really, oh, really closely to the water here like this? If I'm really fast, we might be able to make this work. Or I might just die. There's... <laughs> There's the only two options here. Okay, I think we're going to maybe try this. Let me just make sure that I can get on Jenny if it hits the fan. Okay, I can. All right. All right. Here we go. There's nothing. There's no cementing base in this one. It was a trap. It was a trap. There's already in this one. Okay, this one's better. They stored all the, the cementing base in that one. Oh, I hear him. I hear him coming. I hear him coming. Uh, Jenny. Jenny, you betrayed me. Jenny. <laughs> Jenny. Please. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, you guys. Oh, God. Come here. Just, 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 just. just like we wrote it up, baby. We're out of there. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my God. What a massive knot of things. Terror bird beaver battle war going on over there. Oh, my God. Okay, what's turf war happening? All right, we're... This is... Listen, I know a lot of you said there's not a lot of beaver spawn in the mid, but this is... I don't know. This is... This is kind of nice. It's kind of nice. It's not a lot by any means, but it's definitely, it's definitely pretty good. So we got three more to check, and uh, we'll be good to go. What level is what's going on with this guy here? Be something nice. Oh, uh, 140 Quetzal? Uh. <laughs> oh, excuse me. The cough. The cough came back for that one. Um. Okay. Uh. 
Uh, oh, okay. That kind of stunned locked my brain a little bit. I am in... Oh, it's 140... Where are we on the map? Hold on. Let me just make sure I remember this. Uh, okay. Um... Wow, I was maybe I was really not expecting that one. Um, okay, I am in no means ready to even attempt attempt a Quetzal tame right now. Uh, oh, but it's a 140 Quet. It's a oh, it's a 140 Quetzal. Mm. Mm hmm. I oh, I don't know if my I don't know if I'm gonna be able to let that go. I think I'm gonna have to check that one. Let me make sure I'm going the right way. Am I going the right way? At least okay, we are okay this way. Oh my god. We are not prepared for that. We're not. <laughs> oh. Oh, I don't hope it does. Oh god. Now I'm worrying about it despawning. I don't know if we can try. Oh, we might have to try it. We might have to at least attempt that. Right? For science? We can't just in good conscience let that go. Okay. Oh, I'm going to have to try it. I'm not ready for it either. Oh crap. Okay. Um. I got to think about this. Sorry. I'm thinking on the fly. This is not what was supposed to happen. We were supposed to go after Argies today. I guess. Okay, let me land for stamina. Do some quick brainstorming. I guess. Um. Huh, hold on. You know what? Let's see. Let's just take a look. Let's take a gander. We might be able to pull this off. We might be able to pull off a something right here. That's not where that is. Let's look in here. Uh, Harpoon, do we have that? We, ooh. Ooh, and what does it cost to make? 60, 40, 20. We have these things. We have all of those things. Thanks to our new metal situation. We might, <laughs> we might be able to attempt the Quetzal team today. I, it's going to be a really shoddy, rough one, but we might be able to at least attempt it to, oh God. Okay, you know what? Yeah, we're going to try it. I've, I've got to try it. I've got to at least try, right? Please don't despawn. Let me check the rest of these beaver dams because we're already halfway there. We might as well at least attempt it. Oh God. And then I got to go back to base. We got to, oh, there's so much prep. Okay, we got to make trach darts. We got to make a trap. Oh, oh. <laughs> All right, uh, <laughs> oh, crap, let me just, okay, I gotta calm down, I gotta focus. That's a really high level Quetzal, though. Um, what was it doing? Thinking, brain, come on, work. Uh, okay, let me, let me just finish the beaver dance first, finish the beaver dance first, gosh dang it, and then, uh, we're gonna attempt that. We're gonna, we're gonna attempt that flying bird. All right, beaver spot number four, our home away from home as a, actually, there's two beaver spawns here, too, that's, we are getting really lucky with the beaver spawns. It's already fighting a raptor, so I think I'm gonna just let this fight play out naturally, and maybe we can just casually walk in here for, for some cementing base. Can we just do some landing, Jenny? Would that be okay? Okay, beaver won. Beaver won that. Are you just a unit of a beaver? What's going on with you? Is it you just... Okay, no, you're level 15 then. What's going... Can we just... I realize that there is a lot, like a high critical moment happening right now, but can we all just calm down, Jenny? Can we just not just freak out for no reason? Give me this. All this stuff. I know I'm doing this in the face of the beaver. I understand. It's a level 15 beaver. It's gonna hurt me a little bit. Fine. Give me this. Give me this. Give me this. Urgh, drop all that. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm fine. Nope. That's wrong. Incorrect. Jenny, listen. I really could use not having the lip right now. Can you come over here now, please? Come on, man. There's a big bird afoot. I know. You think you might be getting a I get it. I get it. You might be a little bit jealous of the big bird. Okay. I get, I, I get it. But this is not the time to have this conversation, Jenny. Okay. Oh, my heart. My heart's not going to last this episode, you guys. It's not. <laughs> All right. While we're here, let's might as well check down here at the base location as well. Uh, our first base location is C. Okay, I did. There's two more. There's two more. Oh, my God. Nice. Okay. Let's grab these ones as well. Uh, are these beavers strong or can we tank them a little bit? Uh, 50 and... Se oh, those, those pack a lot more of a punch than the other one did. Our armor's still good, though. All right, um, no, put that away, put that away. All right, I think, actually, let's do this. Can, can everybody just stop fighting me for a little bit? I'm sorry. Grab this one. I'm gonna just tank it. I think I'm just gonna take a couple shots here. Grab this, drop the wood. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know it's coming. I know they're coming, I know, I feel it in my bones. Come on, open it, open the dam. I, I see you, I'm sorry, just, okay, okay. We're just gonna destroy it. <laughs> We're just going to destroy it. I got the good stuff out of it anyway. Destroy the beaver dam. Oh, God. There's beaver coming out of the woodwork. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. I know what I said, you guys. I know I said I wasn't going to bring you along for all of this, but I just... I, I think I got it at this point. I think I got it. 
Come on. Kill it. Kill the beaver dam. Kill the beaver dam for science. All right. So we're here at the fifth beaver spot out of six. I think that's, I think that's a dam actually sitting right in front of us. I see a bunch of beaver, though. I see at least three beavers. One dam. That's cool. At least there's one. That's fine. We can make that work. Let me do a quick scan. There might, I don't think. Okay, spot over there. We may, we may just go after the one, even if there's another one over there. Um, the more I sit here and think about this, you guys, the more I actually think that this might be... Okay, Snake, let's just not do this and say we did. Uh, I think we might have a chance to try to tame this Quetzal. I do. I think we might be able to do it, but the real problem is... Barring that it doesn't despawn is the first thing, but the second problem is it is getting dark really quickly, and it's freaking me out because there's no way... I am taming a Quetzal in the dark. There's just no, it's just not happening. It's not. Okay, can we, I don't really understand what's happening here, but I'm going to take this. Uh, I'm going to take all the wood. I know you're probably just looking at it. Oh God. All right, come on. All right, one more beaver's damn location to go. We're doing really good in terms of that though. We're doing, I mean, we're actually doing really well, honestly. All right, one more beaver damn location to check. Let me just make sure I'm going, the, yeah, this way in the corner over here. Should be good. And then I gotta, we gotta book it. And I think we gotta book it back to, well, maybe not. Maybe not. We might have to wait until morning because like I said, I am not taming a Quetzal in the dark. There's just no way. There's not. I'm too terrified. I don't like that. It's a bad idea. So I guess, I guess we might have to just wait, but that's okay. That'll give me a little bit of time to get to base, craft this up a few more train darts because I was, I was, again, I was thinking about going after Argies today, not Quetzals, and a little bit of a trap situation. We got, oof. Oh, God. <laughs> All right, one more spot. All right, so sixth and final beaver dam location for today, and it does, in fact, look like there are two. At least, there might be a third. I haven't really looked around too much, but there are at least two dams in the middle of the lake over here, and, of course, they're just surrounded by angry beaver guys. So, uh, this, that doesn't add up to a recipe for success in my book, honestly. How is our armor doing? Okay, it's taken quite the beating, but it may have to take a little bit of a beating more if we don't plan on, uh, killing all these beavers here the lazy way. Let's do his hit-and-run technique right here like that. All right. All right, I didn't check the levels of these beavers, but hopefully they're not bad. Okay, here we go. Ooh, okay, here we go. Gotta be quick. Okay, we got at least a couple here. Drop all the stuff. Drop all the stuff. And if you want to know why I get rid of all the wood, it's just the... For one, if you're playing on a server, it's the courteous thing to do. For two... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Uh, for two, get rid of the wood. Come on, hold on. Focus full. Let me just... Let me just get out. Let me just... Oh, God, how was our health looking like? Okay. Oh, and the armor took a super beating. Uh, one, if it's, if it's, uh, God, hold on. Are we really a Gamma 5? Is this Gamma 5? There we go. Uh, if you're on a server, it's just kind of courteous to either the people. But two, you want more beaver dams to spawn, right? So, of course, get rid of your wood, man. Just public PSA for all you new ARC players out there. I know we got a lot of grizzled vets that watch the channel, but we also have some new people. So, please. If you're checking the beaver dams, for the love of God, remove the wood, please. In fact, now that we are out of harm's way seemingly, how did we do? What is our day's cash? We got, oh my God, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 2,354 cementing pace, which is good. That's decent. Those are some decent numbers. They're not great numbers. They're not rookie numbers either. Like that is going to stave off and at least for a little bit, let us uh, do some silly things like try to tame this Quetzal instead of just spend a whole bunch of time gathering chitin. So, I consider that a success. That is not bad. But now, now comes the crazy part that I was not expecting today. Now we're going to try and tame a Quetzal. And in order to do that, we need to, uh, or at least the method that I'm thinking about trying, we need a trap. We, we need to build a little bit of a trap. We need to build a harpoon gun. And the trap in question that I'm thinking of making is not cheap at all. Uh, in fact, let's just let's just look it up. Uh, so, what do behemoth gates cost? Uh, S plus behemoth gate, 900 <laughs> stone thatch and wood, 900 across the board, and we're gonna need a few of those. Whoo, whoo. Okay. Well, all of a sudden, waiting until it's morning to try and go ahead and attempt this giant bird tame. It doesn't seem so bad. It doesn't seem so bad. In fact, the real challenge is going to be, can we get all the resources in time to attempt bird taming this thing in the morning? 
That's a lot. That's a lot. <laughs> okay, well, the the wood and that shouldn't be hard, especially now that we have Ferbert. The stone is going to be... It also shouldn't be that bad considering we've got Wheaties, but still, it's going to... Oh, it's going to take a minute. This is going to take some doing. This is definitely going to take some doing. Uh, all right, let me just drop off all the cementing paste in the fabricator. Cool. All of it. I just need uh, paste. Boom. Send all of that in there. Perfect. Was I right? 2,354. Not bad. Uh, send all of this in there. Cool. Let's drop off all the things in the fridges. Oh, I've got some, I've got some grinding. I've got some big grinding to do. Let's drop all this off in here. I have a hundred wood on me for... Did I grab wood out of the beaver dam by accident? I, I might have. It might have happened. Uh, put that in there like so. How much do we got in terms of wood? We, I feel like we did a pretty big... Okay. Wood might be good. We might have a little bit of early of a... We might be good on wood. Okay, maybe just... Maybe just Wheaties. Maybe we just need some Wheaties action. Okay, that's not bad. It's not as bad as I thought. Anyway, so I am going to do a lot of grinding, I guess, here in between uh, in our BRBs moments. And we're going to try and team that Quetzal guy. We're going to attempt it. It's going to be... It's going to be a thing. So, uh, yeah, I guess... I don't want to harvest this stone. We're going to go over here and harvest this stone. Uh, yeah, so I guess... I guess a little, I guess BRBs, I, I suppose. I just, I'm panicking. I panicked. BRBs. <laughs> All right, you guys. So I've been working really hard over here back at base trying to make sure we have everything prepared for this China. Let's go ahead. Quetz tame. I'm sure I have all these built. I, okay, I did not. Did I, can I build two of these? Nope, that's wrong. Can I build two? Two? Perfect. Okay. Uh, the behemoth gate traps are ready to go. We'll just take those, put those in our inventory so I don't forget them. Great. Uh, the next bit of stuff is all in here, and I've been making tranks if I can. Uh, cool, I made 100 more tranks. Do I have more ammo? Ammo, I do have a little... Uh, I got 50 more shots. We could probably make a little bit more tranks, uh, but I don't think I'm going to need them. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we could probably make that work, but I'm trying to preserve our, our narcotic because we need to make more of that. So, instead, we're going to make the harpoon. Do I have enough? I do. Perfect. Boom. And then actually, I think what the net projectiles you make in your inventory for some reason, you do. Okay. That costs four polymer. Let me just grab that and put that there before I forget. Uh, four polymer, 12 ingots. I think we should have enough to make a handful of these. So, uh, I don't know. Four? Four seems like a good number. Can we do? Yeah. Okay. Build that. Ship that. Four. Perfect. Uh, well, that is working. <laughs> Let's run over here. Check our mortar vessels and see. I've been making a little bit of narcotic. We still got a good bit to go. Uh, I'm just gonna grab all of it. Honestly, we're gonna need we're gonna need darn near all of it. Probably more than that if I'm being super honest. But uh, for now, we have assembled all the things that we really need to try and make this work. So let's get uh, next. Let's get those loaded in there. Let's get our trap ready to go here. And the, did I? No, those those are the re these are for these are the RG trap doors. Uh, let me just find a place to put. Are these? They are. Where did I put the other ones? I don't know. Uh, I have... Okay, fine. For some reason, I still have the RG trap doors. We're going to just drop these in here, so hopefully I don't forget where they are. These are behemoth ones. They are cool. Boom. Okay. I think we have all the necessary uh, like uh, components to try and make this happen. Now, we don't have kibble for this guy, and that sucks. It's going to ruin his taming effectiveness a little bit, but I'm assuming we should be able to get away with doing it with... Uh, prime meat you know what else we need to make i almost forgot about this this would have been tragic parachutes um four of those that seems like a good number build that do that cool build me those all right so i i'm guessing a lot of you are seeing where i'm going with this this is by no means the most effective quest taming technique but it's the only one that i can think of right now so oh this is bad this is gonna be really bad if we mess this up this is gonna suck hopefully it's still there but i think we should be good to go um, let me just double check. Let me just, let me just, okay, 179 and that. I should probably repair this. Can we repair this crossbow? Can we do it? Yeah, repair that sucker. Perfect. Uh, we got 28 shrink arrows. We might, uh, do we have arrows in here? Arrow. I don't. Crap. I was going to bring more, but is that enough? Between that, is that enough? I don't know. They might not be enough. We might have to make some arrows. I'm going to just do it. I'm going to just do it. Screw it. Shrink arrows. Boom. Make all 73 of those. Just do it. Just don't even question it. Perfect. All right, <laughs> now I'm feeling a little bit more confident. Let's see. Well, let's grab whatever narcotic we can get. We're gonna need all of it. Sorry, I'm sorry I'm freaking out, you guys. 
I had a real thought in my brain place about how this episode was going to go. And this is not it. This is not it. But it could end up being so much better if we end up getting this. This could be, this could be kind of huge. Let's grab Jenny. And off we go. So, first part of the puzzle done. We have at least acquired all the things we need to acquire to try to make this happen. Second part. Hopefully it has not despawned. And if that doesn't happen, if it's still there, we'll move on to phase three. Let me make sure I'm going in the right area. It was on the far end of the Redwoods, right? I think in between us and Green Obelisk. Oh, God. Just please be there. <laughs> All right, you guys. So we are pretty close to the last, the last known location of this bird. I just stopped by and killed a Diplo, which gave us a little bit of prime. Not a lot. It should be enough to at least get this going. So... Hopefully, hopefully it's still up here. We saw it over here-ish, right? I think. God, I don't really remember. I don't really remember, but I think it was this way. I think it was this way. Let's just please, please the not of the... Yes, that's gotta be it, right? Are you the mans? Oh, that's our mans right there. Woo, okay. All right, so if you haven't put it together yet, my harebrained scheme is a little bit... Uh, this is... We're not gonna get too many tries at it. I'll just put it at that, so... Um, you know what? We need to actually load the net gun before we try this. That would be good. Uh, what I am essentially trying is submission impossible type tactics, okay? My whole plan is I am going to jump off the RG while a thousand stories in the air, pull out a net gun, net the Quetz. The Quetz is going to descend from the sky and land on the ground. We are going to also fall, pull a parachute, land on the ground next to it, set up our trap, and then start shrinking it out. That is, in his most simplistic terms, that is my whole plan. I don't know if it's going to go well. It could go very wrong. This could be really bad. So it's just, whoo, we don't have too many tries at this. In fact, we have exactly four. We have a four tries at this. Uh, uh, okay, just dialogue. Can, this is not the time. You know what? Actually, let's grab that and start killing it. Can we do that, please? Okay. Um, because wherever this thing lands, we don't want to start initially getting attacked by dialogue. So just, let's grab its friend as well. Start killing this. Uh, okay, here we go. See if we can do this. See if we can do this. Oh, man. Oh, there's a lot of hinges on us getting this done right. Where do we want it to land, though? Let's see. It, we, I would like it to land in that clearing, but I don't know if we're going to actually be able to make that happen. We might just have to go straight down and just hope it works. Oh, Lord. Okay. Uh. <laughs> oh, God. If I jump too early, we might be screwed, too. This is... Uh-oh. Okay. Okay. I have to jump off with enough time to pull out the neck and shoot it, though. All right, you feel like you... Ah, see, you want to turn. You want to get squirrely on me. I don't like that. I'm not a fan of that. Okay. All right, here we go. Boop, boop, boop. Boop. Nailed it. Parachute. Come on. Where to land? Where to land? Big bird on the ground. I see it. Okay, this one. Come on. Like this. Boom. Door. Boom. Okay. Yeah, it's fine. It can open on its own if it wants to. I don't really care. Uh, come on, come on, Bracky guy. Don't be an issue for me right now, please. Two. Come on. Three. Come on. Boom. Like this. Boom. Okay, let's see if I can just, uh, switch to manual. Close that. No, no, no. Come on, Calatherium guy. This is not the answer, please. This is not the time for your shenanigans. <laughs> oh, God. Please don't hit the Quetzal. Please don't hit the Quetzal. Come on, Jenny. Okay. Oh. Whew, okay, can the Quetzal get out of this? Did I leave a big... They might be able to get out of this set right here. Crap. Crap. Uh, okay. Let's try and get rid of the Calcotheriums because that was seemingly... That was pretty good. That was pretty good execution. Let's get rid of these Calcotheriums really quickly, though. Uh, okay. It looks like it's out of the net. It's out of the net. Is it still in the trap, though? I think it is. Okay, come on. Kill the Calcotheriums. That's one. Did it get out? Please don't tell me it's out. I think I got out, you guys. No. No, I definitely left too big of a gap. No, that was like such a good... Oh, that was so good. That was exactly how we were supposed to do that. Okay, this guy's going to attack me. I... Oh, I just got a little bit too much on the spacing. A little bit too much on the spacing. Crap. Well, we've got a, we got a couple more tries at this, so... Oh, that, was, that would have been so good if we got it first try. I think I just left too much gap between the second and third gate. It's fine. Do this. Put this away. I hear the Calcotherium just storming around. Can we just... All right. Hopefully, we can find it again. Crap. 
Wow. Are we going to be able to find him again or is it gone forever? It could be gone forever. I'm not going to lie, you guys. We could maybe not see this thing ever again. Uh-oh. <laughs> Let me look. All right, you guys. So I found him. He gave me a little bit of a heart attack because I thought it was gone. It turns out it only flew south and I was looking in the wrong place. But I have found him. And we've got a couple more tries at this. So, yeah, at least we know the method works. Except now he's a lot, he's not got as much altitude, so we're not going to have as long of a fall to really get this right. So, we need to be pretty sure we're perfect, and we need to make sure that we drop him in a safe area. Because if he lands in water, we'll probably drown. <laughs> so, all right, let's see. Are you going to turn? Don't turn. Uh, mm, you see, I just, I kind of felt, I kind of felt like you were turning. Let's not go over the swamp, please. We need you to not go over the swamp. God, we're going to have to be way more perfect with this one. It is a lot closer to the ground now than it initially was. Oh, God. Please turn. Please not. not yes, thank you. That way would be great. Somewhere over here would be so good. Come on. Keep going. Keep going. We need to be high enough that I can jump off the bird and get the net gun out and shoot it. Which is... We're going to just try it here. Boom. No, I had it out. Shoot. I hit it. Parachute. Oh, God. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Where's it going to drop? Right here. Okay. Jenny should be following us. Hopefully. Uh, boom. And boom. And boom. Is that one too far? That one might be too far. Jenny, get out of the way. Get out of the way, Jenny. This is not a time for your shenanigans. I just got to pick this up really quick. Like this. Ah, ah. Come on. Come on. Like, like this. Okay. And like so might be good. And then like this. All right. This one might be too small. <laughs> Uh, ah, switch to manual close. Okay. Okay. We might be good. Let me just get this one on manual too if I can. Switch to manual close. Jenny, get out of there. Come over here. Jenny, just in fact, just come over here. I need you to just sit down. Calm down. Is it able to get out of this trap? I, it shouldn't. We pretty much locked this one tight. I think we've got this one. Woo! <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Nice. Thank God. Oh. Okay, I heard it get up. Moment of truth. Are you able to get out of here? I think you're stuck. I think you're stuck. Perfect. All right. So, obviously, shout out to S+, Plus, you guys, for the... Don't get out, please. I, I can't stand it if you get out. Uh, shout out for S+, Plus for letting us be able to make the nets in the first place. Um, that is why. That is why we were able to make the nets on the island. Because I originally, I think it was a... It's a Gen 1 island. But the... What's going on out here? Oh, my God. Uh, <laughs> initially, I think it is a Gen 1 item. We got literally... You know what? Just Here's a better idea. Come here. Come here, bud. Come here. Come here quickly. Come this way. Yeah! Way to go, stupid. Have a good time in the swamp. But yeah, anyway, yeah. Long story short, shout out to Plus. Because otherwise, I don't think we would have been able to do this. Uh, I'm going to fly in like this. Can we get in through here? We can. Perfect. Okay. Now I don't have to worry about my bird getting eaten by that raptor out there. All right, well, now all we have to do is put a ridiculous amount of trank darts and arrows into it and hope to God that we can knock it out. So, yeah. So far, so good, though. I can't believe... Oh, I can't believe we got away with that. I cannot believe. I cannot believe. If, if things didn't work out just perfectly like that, you guys, I don't think we could have done this. I don't think we could have done... That should have hit. That, come on. Anyway, so I, uh, yeah. Let me start knocking it out and I'll bring you guys back. <laughs> Oh, oh, it's out. Okay, I hear a dialo though. I hear a dialo though. Where is it? Are we good? We're getting battle music. I think there's a dialo outside. Maybe let me just let me just make sure what's going on. What's going on out here? Is there, there's shenanigans happening out here. Please, my heart can't take this. I really need to check on our guy, but I also don't want you hitting it. Okay, I think we're good. Let me just let's just double check. Uh, it's not getting hit. Perfect. Okay. All right, we have done it. Okay. Oh, my God. That oh, it's a compi right there. I see. I see what's happening. Um, do you guys hear that? There's definitely some shenanigans happening afoot. Uh, okay. Let's just... Let me grab all the meat. We'll just do this. There's something getting attacked nearby, and it's freaking me out a lot. Uh, can we just... Can we just not? It's got to be the compies, right? There's got to be a compi attack happening. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but there's like biting or something. Oh, it's right here. What are you? 
Hey! Whoa! It broke! That copy just broke all of our stuff! Oh my god, okay. You know what? It's on the other side of that. Let me just... Let me just focus on this before it wakes up. Let me just focus on this. Um, it broke all of our... All of, the copy broke our army! That, whatever, man. Okay. Have this. Uh, here. Eat it. Eat the narcotic. We're gonna have to definitely go back and get more narcotic. But for the time being, it should be good. I might have to sit here and pick berries, but... We have done it. We have done the hard part. That was some real 007 stuff, you guys. I can't believe we did that so good. Let me do that like so. Can we just not be stuck here? That'd be great. All right. Uh, let's grab Jenny. Let's go. We are totally naked, but it's worth it. Literally took the shirt off our back. Where are these compy guys? Look at it. Is it actively... Is it trying to attack the burb? I don't like that at all. Okay, listen. I just... You're freaking me out so much. Yeah, just come this way. Attack me. Fine. Whatever. Go to sleep. <laughs> okay. Oh, all right. Everything's under control. Everything's fine. Let's do this. Kill these compies really quickly. Okay. I'm, I'm good. I'm relaxed. I'm doing good. How are you guys doing? You guys doing good? Oh, my God. All right. Uh, I got it tracked right. Okay. All right. Oh. <sighs> It sucks that we didn't get on the first try because that would have been really cool. But you know what? Second try is not nearly that bad. It's really not. Have some more narcotic. Okay. Uh, yeah, so now I guess this hard part is we just got to sit here, wait, and make sure it doesn't wake up, which I'm pretty confident we can do. Um, I think I'll have enough time to run back, but even still, I'm going to pick some berries and just keep this big man under until he is ready to join the tribe. The crew, as it were. Oh, my God. Oh my god, I'm, I'm panicking a little bit, you guys. My heartbeat is still kind of... We are so naked. Nobody looks. It's fine. Anyway, uh, I guess I'll bring you guys back when it tames or if it wakes up or some other obscenely unfortunate event happens to me, which, you know, very, very well might at this point. So, one more BRBs. All right, you guys. So, pretty soon this burb is going to wake up and we will officially have a Quetzal. And it has been... It has been quite a long time. Luckily, I was able to pick enough berries where we could successfully fly back to base, pick up more narcotic, come back. And I've kind of just been standing here, and we are still naked because I've been so worried about this thing. I still haven't repaired it or even made other armor. So, yeah, we've been, we've been here a while. But as soon as this thing goes to 2950, we will have it. But I've been kind of sitting here looking at its stats already before it gets all the extra levels. And right now, at base, it has, I think... A little, just a tiny bit less weight than Jenny does, which gives me a little bit of hope that this Quetzal is going to have a lot of weight, which would be perfect, of course, for us. Ooh, this would be so big for us. I don't think it has a high oxygen, which is good. Um, it might at three thousand. It might have a high food. I'm not sure. And there it is. Quetzal is done. Nice. Two oh eight. So uh, I'll be honest with you guys. I had you guys name the Anki, and I don't really. As long as I've been sitting here, I don't really have a good name prepared for this Quetzal. So, if you've got a good name suggestion for the Quetzal, comment it down below. Odds are I'll use one of them. You guys would, like, your guys' naming conventions for that ink were insane. So, if you got a good one for the Quetzal, also, please let me know down below. I'll probably pick one of them. They're pretty clever. You guys are pretty clever, I must say. Now, oh, let's see. Let's, let's, get, a, let's get an accurate read of these stats. Where did we land on all of this stuff? Let me just make sure I grab anything and just grab the narcotic. May as well save what we can here. Uh, all right, let's see. What are the stats going to look like today? So it got 41 points into, into health, which is insane. <laughs> That's a really high uh, health roll. It got 37 points into stamina, which is pretty good. It got 30, wow, 37 points in the weight. That's not bad. That's pretty good, honestly, and then 40 in the melee. So, obviously, the only stat we should really care about on the quets is the stamina and the weight. But for whatever reason, at least we didn't get a super high oxygen in food. This is, this is a pretty decent quetzal. It'd be better if it was higher in stamina and weight, but you know what? That's pretty good. 1,392 weight is what its base stats are. That's pretty good. I think I, I think that's pretty good. Let me see. Jenny, what, what are you rocking right now? 1,379. So, yeah. Its base stats are better than our RG, and obviously we have pumped a lot of levels into Jenny's weight. All right. Okay. I can work with that. So now we just got to get home. 
and put a saddle on it and put her to the... T oh, you know what? I just... Uh-oh. Wait. <laughs> we may be getting ahead of ourselves a little bit here, you guys. I don't actually know. At 78, I don't... Ooh. That might be too low. Are we able to actually make a Quetz saddle? I don't... Oh! Oh, 76. We just made the cut for that. <laughs> Ooh, that would have sucked. And, okay, cementing pays, fiber, hide, silicone. Okay, we can do all of that. All of that is doable. Okay, right on. Okay, we're good. We just got to get to base, make a saddle, and we can try it out. And, uh, yes, I need, to, I need to maybe put some clothes on, maybe. <laughs> okay. Whoo, crisis averted, man. I, whew, I'm sorry I got frantic and I got kind of stunlocked there, but I really, I was pretty sure we were going to fly around the map looking at RGs, but I will take... A decent quest? Like, that was... Ooh, that was so worth it. That was so worth it. We didn't have kibble, unfortunately, so it lost maybe a couple levels, but still, that is pretty darn good. So, anyway, let me go back to base, and we will play around with our quests, guys. So, BRBs. All right, guys, so I've done it. It is still raining. I just... I got, it has rained so much on this map. I don't know why, but I've made the saddle. We are good to go to finally give this bird a test out. Oh, God, I... This is going to be good. So, uh, I think it is time. We have waited long enough that we should probably build one of these soul guns for our soul balls. We just, we've waited long enough. It's time. Let's just see if we can do it. We should be able to do it, right? I think I have all that. We might not have the polymer. Let's see. Let's just see. Oh, yeah, baby. We can build that. Nice. Okay. And essentially, all this does for you new people is it kind of all these little soul balls that we have, uh, like our Argent and our Quetzal in. This is able to shoot and pick them up. So, what I mean by that here, I'll just, I'll test it with Jenny real quick. So, Instead of just manually having to walk up and throw, take Jenny out like this. Instead, we can pull this doohickey out. And yes, it's a paintball gun, but then we can pick her up from anywhere. And it just kind of makes life a lot more convenient, honestly. So, uh, we've got that made. That's in our arsenal. Let's go ahead and try this guy out now. This is going to be so good. Oh, uh, you know what? Let's act. Oh, did it stop raining? Perfect. Thank you. Perfect. Uh, let's go ahead and pick up Nash and Slash. Oh, you guys, you know, you might not. Listen, someone else is over here now, and it is their... It's their platform. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that looks so good on you. That looks so good on him. Look at it. Look at him go. Nice. You need a name. You need a name. You guys are going to come up with a great name. I know it. All right. Here we go. Moment of silent truth. Not silent truth. Boom on there. How many points per weight do we get? So we're at 1392. The 14th. Oh, man. Oh, we get a lot of weight. Oh, that's going to be so good. That's going to be so good. Nice, and he looks so good there. Perfect. Oh, this is so good. Um, well, so yes, honestly, of course, the Quetzal is gonna be mighty, mighty slow, but that's okay because we are only gonna have to do these metal runs every now and then, right? Like, what do we get? Like eight thousand metal ingots in one run. So yeah, that'll be enough to keep us going for a while. So with that, we don't have to be that fast. And it turns out, you guys. Our base is pretty much good to go in terms of, like, resources. It, like, everything but metal is good here. So I think with this edition of this Quetz, we have finally solved our resource woes. And we can officially start working towards, you know, some of the boss things. 69 damage. That's, God, that's just so fitting, isn't it? <laughs> nice. Perfect. Gotta kill the tech when we can. That's not bad. I honestly don't even, like, it, it's slow. It's painfully slow. This is about a slap or a flapping of the wings. Definitely wouldn't work with the amount we're moving. Like, that doesn't make any sense at all. But I just, I'm not going to complain. This is, the art gods have blessed us on this eve, and we are just going to accept it. What is this going to put us to? 1531. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good. That is pretty good stuff right there. Woo wee All right, Um. so I guess... Uh, we could go ahead and move a bunch of metal right now. We could do that. Uh, but it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense for us to do that right now because this is still a really low-level Quetz, and we, we just we might as well try and level him up. Look how good he looks. He's like a dark brown, like, white-gray mix. Oh, he looks good. I like that. I like that a lot. So I think what I'm going to do for now, uh, I don't... I'm not really sure how long this episode has been running, so we may we may be getting close here, but... Uh, I think for now, what we're going to try and do, painfully do, is we're going to fly over here. There should be a explorer note on, I think, this rock right here. 
Let's try and get him as much experience as we can, and then in between episodes, I won't put you guys through the pain of moving over all the metal from the volcano over to our base, which I've done a little bit here and there with Jenny, but nothing like we're going to be able to do with this big son of a gun. <laughs> oh, this is so much better. This is so much better than RGs, honestly. Just having one big go through here is nice. Can we get this? Thank you. Don't read it to me, Helena. I just... Thank you. Uh, okay. How many levels did that give us? Let's see. Show me the levels. That should have been pretty good, right? If you... Oh. Ooh, seven. Mm-hmm. That's pretty good. Let's see what seven does to you. Oh, yeah, baby. 2,000 weight. Whoo. Okay. All right. Oh, yeah. We're going to be able to get this guy well over 5,000 weight. That's going to be so nice. That's going to be so nice. All right. Well, <laughs> I guess you guys... I mean... I could break you come along with me and we could fly all over this island on this low Quetzal and, and get some stuff done. But that's not very nice, is it? That's not, <laughs> that's not the most exciting of content, and I kind of understand that. Level 50 bracky guy. Yep, you're, you're handsome. You're a good man. Uh, but instead, I think I'm going to just do that on my own in between episodes. I have a lot, and I mean a lot of metal still up there that I need to ferry back and forth. But this is kind of a big deal, you guys. This is kind of a big, not even kind of, this is a huge big deal. This is a Quetzal sized deal, okay? This is, <laughs> this is pretty good. This is, mm, mm. There you go, it's just kiss. I don't know why I for that, but there you go, it's just kiss. Anyway, whew, we're gonna be able to start working on some stuff, you guys. We are gonna officially be able to start working towards the bosses, which I do have a little bit of a plan for in my brain. We're just not quite able to uh, act on it yet, but I do think I have an idea on what we might be able to do for this overseer fight. So we're working our way towards that. So that's coming up, honestly, fairly quickly. We were making a lot of, if we're gonna, we went from not making any progress on the beach for a while to making so much progress in the span of a few episodes. So anyway, long story short, if you're still here, you guys, please make sure to leave a like down below. It does about the channel, you guys, and I do very much so appreciate it, honestly. You guys, I mean, you deserve another one, another thumbs up for you guys. You guys have been killing it with the support and I very much so appreciate it and just, yeah, for people to be supporting an ARC series for a small creator, that's a big deal, and it's not lost on me. So thank you, guys. I'm very thankful, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. I'm out. Peace.